Those Stratters. I almost feel sad now. So close to the end of the proper gauntlet. We are in round 11. I'm playing Cyborgs. This was of course brought to you by mtgotickets.com. Check them out if you haven't done so already. I'm playing against Exet, which in Swedish means my ex-girlfriend, but I doubt it is her. Okay, cyborgs, do your thing! Wall Scourge. Flare Husk, hopefully draw another artifact. Maybe I need to play Sun Chaser on turn 2, depending a bit on what I'm playing against. But I think Wall Scourge is the correct turn 1 play. Okay, Wallscourge, do your thing. Something blue. Probably Delver. Library has been shuffled. Well, Glintok Idol, then I can go Flare Husk Frogmite, Frogmite next turn. Or should I go 3-3 three, three flyer? But that won't work. No, I think I have to play the Glintok Idol. I think I have a decent Delver matchup. Delver tends to have difficulties with flyers. And I'm so happy Cloud of Fairies is gone. Okay, he's just pondering. He's just pondering with an island. He could have any deck. There is nothing telling me that it is Delver. No, it's a Demir control deck. So that means we can't use Flare Husk. Okay, let's crush another Demir control deck. We can do this. Always yes, always yield. Yes. Maybe always yes is bad there. And that's four artifacts, so we can deploy the entire hand. Which is a pretty great start. And keep Flare Husk as a creature for edict protection. This should be difficult to control, I think. Wow, the mere control is not in the sideboard plan. Threatening. 11 damage next turn. Your Shane's Edict will look pretty puny. And he misses a land drop after two ponders. That's uh, fairly lucky on my part. This is the last uh, of the matches before the... Uh, I should just attack first, right? Before the two-man rounds. Here they come. So now we have to remove something, leaving Clintock Idol open to play. You probably will re remove yeah, the 3-3. Three, three. No. Saved himself from a lot of damage. Oh, he did remove the 3-3. Three, three. Okay. 
Minifog and removal. Ah. Oh, it's Turbo Angler. But we can fly over Gurmag Angler. And here he is. So the question is, do we still attack on the ground? That would get 9 damage in. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Somebody started a chat with me, but I can't listen to that now. Because I need to focus. I will just swing with everything. Looks pretty solid. But if somebody just has two mana, it's not very hard to defeat them. Turbo is not in the sideboard plan. It's not the graveyard based deck. He will refill his graveyard. So I should not go Relic. Gutshot is not as useful as it was against Real Delver. Obsidian Acolyte. Could that be a thing? Gotta have to check the chat, I'm sorry. He is playing a main deck relic. Well, I don't care about that. So, uh, that's the end for him. That is the end. He has been crushed by the machine. I don't know about Obsidian Acolyte. Everything I have feels pretty good against him. Perhaps Obsidian Acolyte is good enough. Against Mono Black Control I take out Wall Scourges. So, um, I'm gonna take out the wall scourges and put in obsidian acolyte. And I hope it's not a mistake. He has a lot of difficulty removing it. Okay, this is what I'll do. But I'm not sure, it feels like I dilute the deck a bit. Okay, I will keep certain one drop, one land hands, but not this one. This is a four land then, but I don't dare go. I don't even have Metalcraft. No, I can't throw this away. This deck mulligans horribly. I will keep him. I can get to three artifacts with... Yeah, I have three artifacts. But this could be tough. Can I get them into play by next turn? I don't think I can. If he has a turn to... Angler here, I will be in trouble, but no, he can't have that. Because he needed to do something else last turn. Here comes that guy. Okay, we want to hit for three here, I think. 
And Glint Talk Idol seems to be the artifact to play. Given how hard it is to remove. And now we have Tooth as well. If it doesn't block. Uh, I'm not gonna use that now. Hit him for four. Sun Chaser and activate next turn. But he could very likely handle this. Now I am pretty open to an edict. Or an Agony Warp, of course. If he doesn't do anything here, I will not play Sun Chaser straight into Counterspell. Because my board presence is. Not the best. Oh, now I feel like Dog Dog and Memnon is the one who was chatting to me, and now I feel like I also only answered yes. I'm filming. <laughs> I feel like such a jerk. Uh. Okay, so let's try to play the Bone Splitter. Have that countered and then play the Sun Chaser. That didn't work. Yes. Okay, so we'll wait with the Sun Chaser. And now we try to hit for eight. Four, four. He's gonna Agony Warp, right? You know what? I should have passed priority there. No, he doesn't have any Agony Warp. Well, now he does. Wow, it worked! So he had no play for turn three? Wow! Here comes an angler. But he gets his tapped out then. So we'll trade Glint. This would be the perfect opportunity to draw Obsidian Acolyte. Yes. Equip the bone splitter. Swing. Oh, I should equip the bone splitter to the recruit. Because now it's just gonna block. That's what I should have done. Oh, he can still stabilize easily. So can he produce another angler? I think he can. It must be right to trade Ardent Recruit for the Angler.
but he failed to remove anything earlier. Oh no. And now it turned rough. So I think I'm just clearing the board playing Ardent Recruit here. Can he have shittering or something? I don't believe he will have that. Is there a point to having a card in my hand or not? I think there is a point to it. Three cards. It's very likely he can deal with this recruit. At least I wasted the duress for him. Why did he bring in duress? That seems really bad against cyborgs. But make no mistake, he's digging a thousand times faster than I am. So I have to win with this recruit. And the chance that he doesn't find the removal spell. Maybe scale of Shiskori would be a thing against Agony Warp. Okay, there's no use playing this before he does it, so it's better to eat the removal spell and then play the Obsidian Acolyte. There is no way in hell I will do 6 damage here. Okay, I did. So... I think I have to play the Acolyte into a counter spell. What? And why am I keeping the land in my hand now? Because he has already seen it. Okay, I'm getting some jitters. Maybe Cyborgs is in round 12. Yes, Cyborgs is in round 12. And that means Cyborgs could easily win the Pauper Gauntlet. There's one match left in this round. And if Aristocrats wins, Round 12 is between uh, this deck and Aristocrats. This also means that the green one is gone and gets third place or second place. Because if Aristocrats loses, then this was the final match of the Pauper Gauntlet, the winning match of the Pauper Gauntlet. Then Cyborgs has won the Pauper Gauntlet. Thank you for watching.